In the restaurant business, what everybody will tell you is you wake up being prepared for catastrophe. There is no such thing as a typical day here. There's a lot of event planning, social media, marketing campaigns. Any of those things can be happening on a daily basis. I run around trying to make sure things work like clockwork. Mainly we use AutoCAD, Adobe Creative Suite, Microsoft Office, Outlook, QuickBooks, Hootsuite, SketchUp, V-Ray, Grasshopper, Rhino, GoToMeeting, ShareFile, Dropbox. Being able to have the time to make uh, conscious decisions about which type of applications and then which vendors within those applications is a challenge to SMEs. A lot of it's just um, they're overwhelmed with choice and they need a clear ringing voice out there to tell them what they should be doing and how um, they can get help from somebody. I really am the one who pushes new software and you know just actually last night I was here really late because we're going to be implementing a new software for print. We had a, a great um, customer message that we had where someone said um, I changed the, the toner in our printer once and now I'm the IT person. Running a small business no matter where you are it has the same challenges. How do you make the most of the limited resources you have? Right now we've got a lot of different things that we're using and a lot of different platforms. It's hard to kind of keep track of all that. Maybe there's one portal that manages all those things for us. Uh, that, that would be fantastic. I think SaaS has a, a lot of potential to make businesses more productive and also to make people more productive and giving them back some of their lives. You could have the best products uh, on the face of the earth, but if you can't connect them together and create a good customer experience, um, you're going to fail. I don't think we could perform as well as we do without relying on the kind of technologies that are available to us. The idea that more data can be shared seamlessly with the relevant people uh, at the right levels is key to us. If we were to start a business today, it would look much different than five, seven years ago. Whether they're pumping gas or painting nails or Baking donuts, if you can talk to them about uh, an issue, a challenge that they have, and you can provide a solution to that, they don't really care if it's in the cloud or not. They just know you're there to solve a problem for them. I don't know that there's a single answer in what's going to be the magic bullet for being successful. Anything that we can do to help that uh, business segment be more productive, more successful, is a win for both us and the small business owner. As the world moves, uh, we move with the technology. So the future of the plant in 10 years is to really have as many of these in as many locations doing as much good as possible. 